Hey guys, it's Erica Galinas with the Mike McKay team at Century 21 Affiliated. I'm here for my weekly Ask the Agent segment. Um, I want to talk something about um, that will help buyers and sellers a little bit, and we can talk about that a little bit uh, later on. Um, but we have a lot of buyers right now looking for houses, pre-approved, cash in hand, ready to go, can't find the house that they want to buy. Um, and we just don't have a lot of inventory right now. We don't have a lot of sellers selling. We have far more buyers that want to buy than sellers that want to sell. So what will happen sometimes, and this has happened to several of my buyers in the past few months, you know, there's they have certain criteria, not even necessarily anything fancy or anything like that, but they want three bedrooms, and they want, at least, you know, a good-sized lawn, and they want, you know, a basement or finished, unfinished, doesn't matter. So they have these certain criteria, and they have a price range. Um, so we'll make up this fictitious buyer wants to spend $200,000. So we go, we, you know, look around, set up our searches, you know, look at the new stuff on the market. We find, say, three, four houses in the town they want to live in um, at 200000 So we go and look at one of them, and it doesn't work. It needs something. It's not in the right neighborhood. It's not something, you know, it's on a busy road. Something doesn't work about it. You know, the other three basically are off the market. Maybe we put an offer in on one, but we got outbid. You know, there's all this activity with these listings because there just aren't enough. So what you have is these buyers, like I said, ready to buy, no problem at all, can't find anything to buy. So let's say, like I said, we're looking at this $200,000. Maybe we should look at houses that are listed at one hundred and fifty dollars or $160,000. The reason why is because there are loan programs called rehab loans. Um, a lot of people run into this when they're looking at buying a foreclosure or something that's in you know real bad shape or had a flooded basement. But rehab loans can absolutely be used for a perfectly cromulent house in fine shape that's just kind of ugly. It's just kind of dated. Um, so what you'll have is it's, it hits all the check boxes. It's in the right neighborhood. It's the right size. The yard is great. But the last time it was updated was 1992. And in the kitchen, we have that weird thing we did for the while with the cream cabinets and the fake maple handles across the whole top of the it's Whatever that, I don't know what we're thinking. But either way, so you have a kitchen like that, you know, needs a new countertop. You know, maybe the bathroom's out of date. Maybe, you know, it's just old and green or something like that. You know, or you have, you know, a, a living room or, or a family room that's great, but there's like that paneling on the wall or something's going on. It's not a big problem. It is basically cosmetic. What we can do is put in a contract on that house, get you a rehab loan, and then you can buy the house that you want, where you want, for the price you want, and all the work is done for you. So how this works is, so we've identified this house, and I'll keep the math simple. So um, we have $200,000 to spend. The house is $150,000. We need to put about $50,000 in upgrades in the house. Let's just pretend. Um, so you would go under contract for the house at $150,000, just a regular purchase agreement. Then you would work with your lender who offers rehab loans, and they would work with contractors to put together this package. So you would be borrowing a total of $200,000. So the whole loan for the house plus the, the remodeling money, then you pay the regular payment you'd have on a regular $200,000 house. But now you have a house that's $150,000 that has an updated kitchen. It has updated bathrooms. It has, you know, whatever it is that it needs. Maybe it's got a great house with a bad roof or something like that. Um, it's, you don't. Just pay a loan for 150000 You pay it for the whole 200000 but that's okay. That's what we're pre-approved for. That's what your budget says you can do. Um, one other wrinkle that sometimes people, you know, don't always understand, I have to explain, is that you can't do the work yourself, unless you're a licensed contractor with the state of Indiana. Um, your brother-in-law can't do it unless he's a licensed, or your sister-in-law can't do it. It has to be an approved contractor that the lender is willing to work with. Now, they have a list of contractors that we can pick from, so you don't have to scramble around and try to find people. But if you already have people, there is a process to get them approved by the lender. They have to supply a business license and proof of insurance and, and some different things like that. Um, seems complicated. It's actually a pretty simple process. So what happens is, you know, we make an offer on this home. Before we do this, we talk about a rehab loan probably, but we want to get that out of the way. But uh, we put an offer on the home. The offer is accepted. You know, like any other house, we would have an appraisal on the house. So the bank would send an appraiser out there. The appraiser looks at the property. You know, we're paying 150 as is. We then give him the sheet of estimates for the work that's to be done. So he looks at the, you know, the condition, the work that's going to be done. He looks at the house that it currently is, and he gives us an appraised value. So let's say it's 150. You know, we're going to spend 200. He appraises it for 200 with the remodeling. Um, so it's not so much 
rehab to imply like a, like a foreclosure that's falling down, but a renovation loan. Um, you have 90 days to complete the repairs from the day we close until the day you know that we move in, I guess you'd say. You have 90 days to do those repairs. You will already have the contractor's estimates in hand. You will already have you know, a company who's coming out to do the kitchen. They've already been there. They've already given you an estimate. They've already talked to you about what you want and countertop allowances and light fixtures and stuff like that. So when we close, we hit the ground running. Um, Again, these are very good loans for buyers who are having a hard time finding what they want. So they have the budget, they just don't have the house because brand new house is $300,000. You know, the ones that are $200,000 and are in good shape sold in two and a half days. So here's this one, 150, 130, you know, whatever it is, the stuff you can't change, the location, the size of the yard, the house hits all those boxes. But, you know, it's kind of ugly inside. It hasn't been updated since Aunt Martha died in 1974. Fine, we'll get your renovation loan. So you will be borrowing the $200,000, the cost of the house plus the cost of the renovations. You will have the renovations done that you wanted, that you picked out within 90 days of closing. You will have your $200,000 house, location, yard size, renovated, everything you want in that process. It takes a little bit longer, obviously, because they have to do the work and stuff like that. Um, the pre-approval process maybe takes a little bit more. It's kind of more complicated, but not necessarily because of you or your documents or something, but because there's a couple of steps to go through in terms of the contractors and stuff like that. Um, you know, the programs vary in terms of, you know, what kind of loan. There's like 203K FHA loans, which have the lower down payment, um, the 3.5%, um, and then, you know, the contractors and 90 days and all that. Um, but you are still borrowing that whole amount with, you know, house plus renovations. You know, there are conventional ones that have, you know, 5% down and stuff like that. There's a ton of different loan programs. So if we find a house that, you know, is great but has one big problem that won't go FHA, we can look at a 203K, uh, you know, rehab loan through FHA. Like I said, if you just, you got the budget but you can't find the house, let's look at something that's a little bit cheaper and see if we can't do a, a renovation loan to, you know, get the house you want. Um, it's there's not a whole lot more to say about this because the process is quite straightforward. Find your house that's cheaper than what you want. Figure out it's going to cost twenty, thirty, four thousand dollars. You know, something that just needs a new furnace. Fine, seven thousand dollar renovation loan. Totally cool. Um, these things are very good options for buyers, and and we've been doing more of them over the past year or so that inventory's been so tight. Um, Call me, text me anytime. I know several different lenders that do these kinds of loans, so we can absolutely find a program that works best for you. Um, obviously, pre-approval, just like anything else, based on credit and based on a bunch of different things. Um, but it is a, a, you don't have to have A-plus credit to qualify, or you don't have to have $40,000 down, to, to down payment to qualify or anything like that. Um, so don't necessarily be intimidated, and don't be intimidated by the process. The lenders that I have worked with on these renovation loans know exactly what they're doing. They got the they got the paperwork, they got the lists, they got the process. It is very, I don't want to say simple, because there's a lot of, you know, moving parts, but they're, it's not confusing, I guess I would put it that way. Um, so if this is something you're interested in, if you're a buyer who has been having a hard time finding a house, um, that would be, you know, call me, text me, 219-765-2062. I'm happy to, you know, talk about your options. And, and you know, you're looking here, let's look down here, and add on the price up to here and get exactly the house you want. If you are a seller who has a house that is just older, you know what I mean, and you're having a hard time, you know, finding out what to do with it on the market, also let me know because I have marketing programs that I can do for you that will spread the word about these renovation loans and will bring these buyers that we were just talking about to your house. So you might have the 1995 kitchen with the weird maple cream-colored cabinets. You might, I, I, uh, I showed a house the other day. It was actually awesome. I just wish I'd taken a picture, but it was a giant pink bathtub on a platform with three steps surrounded by magenta red carpet. It was so crazy. It was awesome. But that might be a seller that might benefit with my marketing skills with renovation loans because I'm just saying that's probably not going to be a hot seller, even in this market that, you know, people are going to be like, oh, I don't know about that. Um, but... If you are a seller in that position, please also call me, text me, 219-765-2062. You know, we can go through some of the marketing things that I can do to get your house on the market, you know, admitting that, you know, it leads a little updating, 
But hey, no problem, because there's this whole pool of buyers that want exactly this kind of house, and I can show them how to get it with the renovations to get exactly what they want. Um, call me, text me, like I said, anytime. You can email me, HS by Erica. So Henry Sam, B Y Erica, E R I C A, at gmail.com. Comment down below, send me a direct message, you know, go to Home Sales by Erica on Facebook. I check that all the time, I'm happy to help. Um, like I always say, even if you just have questions, you're not ready to do anything yet, you're freaked out, you don't want somebody to be hounding you every day for the rest of your life, just, just send me a text, just send me an email. I'm very happy to help. Um, you know, find what you're looking for, get your house on the market and get it sold. Thanks so much, guys. I will talk to you next week. Please let me know if you guys have questions bouncing around out there. I'm happy, happy to answer them in one of these videos. Have a good one. Thanks.